The zip stop is the best brake available for your zip line. The zip stop uses a self-regulating magnetic braking system to brake zip line participants safely and comfortably. With the ability to brake riders safely at high velocities, the zip stop fills a critical need for zip line operators. The Zip Stop Zipline Brake is a controlled braking force designed specifically for use in the zipline industry as a primary or emergency arrest device at the end of zipline runs. This video provides an overview of Zip Stop operation and installation concepts. Please refer to the Zip Stop Installation, Operation, and Maintenance Manual for complete information. The Zip Stop Brake Unit is located at the zipline terminal end, normally adjacent to the landing area. It is mounted using the brake unit mounting bracket. It is connected via a redirection pulley and reduction line system to the zip stop brake trolley. The brake trolley is located on the zip line and when idle, will be positioned at the start of the rider or rest zone. The approaching rider trolley contacts the brake trolley, moving it down the zip line. As the brake trolley moves into the arrest zone, it extends the braking line out of the brake unit via the reduction line. As the braking line extends out of the brake unit, the eddy current brake in the brake unit is activated, controlling the rate of deceleration and slowing the rider in a smooth manner. In a standard 1 to 1 or 2 to 1 configuration, once the load is removed from the brake trolley, the spring return mechanism in the brake unit retracts the braking line, automatically returning the brake trolley to the start of the arrest zone on the zip line. The zip stop brake assembly is designed to be used as part of a complete zip line braking system and can be used for a wide range of zip line installations. The zip stop is suitable for use in both existing and new zip line installations. Setup information provided in this video and in the manual relates only to the zip stop brake assembly. The design, installation, and setup of other components comprising the complete braking system are the responsibility of the installer and or operator. A number of variables will influence the final braking distance and level of rider comfort. Rider arrival speed is unique to each zipline installation and is a factor of the line slope, zipline length, rider weight, rider descent position, wind, and friction. It is necessary to know the acceptable minimum and maximum rider velocities prior to configuring the zip stop. Suitable rider weight ranges will need to be determined by individual zip line operators. The zip stop brake unit will accommodate riders between 33 and 330 pounds or 15 and 150 kilograms. It is necessary to know the acceptable rider weight range before configuring the zip stop.